the Switch is no longer a platform devoid of good games. In many ways it never was, however after a hugely successful year many of those who once mocked the Switch as a Wii U version 2 have had to publicly and kinda shamelessly reverse this sentiment. Celeste is important for many reasons, one of those being that it is one of a growing number of simultaneous releases amongst the top consoles and Steam. This shows that developers no longer think of the Switch as just a Nintendo platform, but rather a platform for gamers, hardcore and casual. 2D platformers have become synonymous with the Switch. For better or worse, we have had an incredible number of options, and while some of these stand out a la Super Meat Boy, there are a slew of lesser known and frankly poor releases. Thankfully, Celeste was always looking to be something a little unique. From the moment you hit the home screen and have the option to change a character's name, there's something different about this one, something special. You aren't given a huge amount of backstory, other than that you play a young girl intent on climbing Mount Celeste. You're introduced to this concept early on, and it was with some childish glee that I laughed out loud at the abuse the elderly lady gives you right at the start, as she ridicules your chances of success, while also adding some mystery right at the outset of the game. You're handed control of your character very early on, which was also welcome and while tutorial elements are there, they are quickly introduced and then you're left to learn how these mechanics can be manipulated to achieve your goal. Controls are tight and more importantly sensibly placed and responsive. Knowing you've died because of your own error is infinitely more bearable than unresponsive controls. Thankfully, here we have a good example of the former being your only real concern. I would recommend a pro controller just because the analog stick has a larger range of motion which makes those tricky jumps far easier to time and land correctly. Each small area of the climb acts as a challenge space if you will. This can see you falling to your death multiple times but ultimately finding a logical path to ascend to the next area. For completionists there is another option of gathering an item usually located in a much trickier area to reach. I love trying to figure out how to reach these while also cursing the 24 deaths it would take me. A shiver of delight early on as your character lights a bonfire, sparks and flames lighting the area around her. A nod to Dark Souls, another high profile title coming to the Switch in May, really sets the tone for this game. Music is handled exceptionally well. While there's nothing here that will elicit the type of emotion felt in, say, Xenoblade 2, what we do have is a unique chiptune-esque style that just fits the on-screen style perfectly. While remaining very true to the game's retro-inspired roots, you will find yourself tapping along with your foot while ascending those trickier stages. Now honestly there isn't enough hyperbolic language to state how much I enjoyed the sounds in this game. From the wind whipping across the screen to the howl of a wolf in the darkness. It is wonderful. On a particular note however is how developer Matt has programmed the HD rumble. Impossible as this is to show you guys, know that every movement you make has a distinctive rumble. I mean every single one. From the jumps to the climbing. Some of it is so subtle that you almost feel as though you are controlling the game through the haptic feedback alone. It's seriously impressive stuff when you consider how heavy handed the rumble is applied to some titles. Without giving too much away, it must be said that even in the short time I have had with the game it has surprised me quite a few times. Just when you begin to think, oh okay, this is it now then. It will throw in a story element, boss or something totally left field which will have you straight back into the moment edge of your seat keen to see what happens next. Suffice to say the mountain of Celeste is not all that it seems and many mysteries and wondrous boss fights and sights remain to be revealed. While I would love to go through these it would be remiss of me to steal these delights from you. It is rare that a game can tell a tale, have such tight controls and make you laugh. Even more rare to do all of this in its first five minutes of play. Celeste offers a tight, well-structured experience. It is sure to be extremely popular with speedrunners and completionists, but offers more than enough for the casual gamer to slowly ascend at a more leisurely pace. There are times when frustrations can hinder the otherwise exceptional experience, and there were a few occasions where I felt I had to backtrack just to get 100% of a section, but these were few and far between. 
Celeste is deserving of your attention, time and money. It is sure to quickly climb the Switch charts and I look forward to the inevitable sequel. I give this game 9.2 out of 10. Thank you all for listening, keep it on Switch Up. If you enjoyed this review, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if that's what you like to do. And once again, Switch Up.